Well, our next guest has a special understanding of the importance of International Women's Day. Maya Burhan Perkar is 16-year-old student and scientist from Ontario. She's an advocate of education for girls and youth worldwide. Maya joins me now. Thanks for joining me. First off, what does International Women's Day mean to you? Well, International Women's Day, it means an awful lot to me. And I really think that the purpose of International Women's Day is, is twofold. Um, the first, of course, is to celebrate the many achievements of women all around the world. But the second, I think, is to really recognize that we still have a lot of work to be done. And so as an example, as a, a young woman in science, um, it's really clear that there aren't enough women in science. Um, and there's that disparity between uh, the amount of men and women in science. And, and that's a bit of a problem, especially in science, because uh, it's all about bringing together a diverse group of people who have a, uh, who have uh, unique backgrounds and can come up with those innovative ideas uh, to solve the most challenging problems that we're facing in the world. So, and if we're missing an entire uh, an entire gender, right. then that becomes a really big problem because we're we're missing almost half of those ideas that we could be getting. Yeah, absolutely. So why do you think women aren't getting involved in science then? Well, I think that there's a bit of a, there aren't enough role models out there for women who are in science or who are interested in science. I think that when we think of um, the, the, the famous scientists, we think of people like Einstein and Feynman mm -hmm. and, and uh, Darwin. We think of men, but that's not quite the case. There are so many brilliant females who have done so well in science. People like uh, Julie Payette and Roberta Bondar are Canadian astronauts. People like uh, Harriet Brooks, who did brilliant work in nuclear physics. And so I think that women who are in science right now really need to come out and speak about their experiences in science and, and reach out to young women and encourage them to join uh, science and do science research. That's a great message. So what are some of the obstacles you might have faced? You're only 16, <laughs> and I'm shocked by that because you speak so well and you have so much experience, but you face some obstacles too. Oh yeah, definitely. And so I'm not from Toronto. I'm from a fairly rural part of Ontario. Mm -hmm. And so as a result, um, trying to do science research becomes really hard because I didn't have access to uh, university laboratories and things like that. Um, and on top of that, being a young woman, uh, being a student, uh, being an ethnic minority, that just sort of made everything even harder. Really? Um, and so as a result, I tried when I was little, when I was around 10 years old, I decided I would email all of these university professors and ask them if I could work in their laboratories. And you know, the responses I got were, Maya, you have great ideas, but just wait a few more years. And so really? I didn't let that stop me. And I ended up building this laboratory in my basement. <laughs> I still remember calling up all of these high schools. And that was terrifying for me at the time because I was only in elementary school and I borrowed their incubators and those sorts of things and in that laboratory I ended up doing a lot of my early scientific work things like um, you know developing a prototype for an intelligent antibiotic and doing some research on Alzheimer's disease and those sorts of things and so now that I'm a bit older I've had the opportunity to partner with universities like the University of Toronto and I'm actually doing some work right now um, that, that, uh, and that I ended up discovering this new quantity of fundamental physics along with a professor at the University of wow. Toronto so yeah. Do you think things would have been different for you if you weren't a female? Um, I don't know. It's hard to say, but I think that it certainly would have been a little bit easier just because, you know, there are the little things sometimes, like when you talk to an elementary school teacher, you know, and you say, oh, I'm really interested in science. I want to be a scientist. And they give you that sort of strange look, those sorts of things. Um, yeah. And so I think that those things wouldn't have been there. But, How yeah. optimistic are you for the future of women and girls around the globe and here in Canada? Oh, I'm so optimistic, uh, especially about the sciences. I mean, because of my scientific work, I've had the opportunity to go to so many different science fairs and competitions and conferences all around the world. And at all of these events, I've seen so many young women um, like myself uh, doing research at a young age and, and having the opportunity to present that. And so I'm really confident that these women will go on to pursue the sciences in their careers and, and do great things. So what's the one message you would send out to a young woman who maybe wants to go in the sciences and feels a bit discouraged or other avenues as well, but might feel that being a female might hold them back a little bit? My message would definitely be that never, ever let being a female hold you back at all. That shouldn't be something that holds you back. I mean, looking back at history, there have been so many women who have excelled in the sciences. People like Hypatia, you know, a brilliant mathematician. Um, as I mentioned earlier, Harriet Brooks and a female astronauts. There are so many people for young women to look up to and to, to follow in their footsteps. So um, never, ever think that being a woman holds you back find that role model. Exactly. And I think you're one of those role <laughs> models as well. Thank you so much for joining us today, Maya. Really inspired 
Thank by you. what you had to say. It's I appreciate your time. That's Maya Burham Perkar. She's a student and scientist as well as an advocate for youth education. Lots more ahead this hour. Stay with us. Thank <laughs> you.